Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Alex, I'm the architect for back 4 app and this is the episode 3 for our parts crash course. Today we're going to learn about arrays, how to unset properties of an object and how to destroy an object. So I have my person class from the last episode with my objects here and I'm going to add a property which is an array for this object. So I have my code from last class here. I'm bringing uh, back the person with this uh, object ID and when we're dealing with arrays and parts we have three methods we can use. The first one is add. Add will just add a value to an array. Uh, if you call it multiple times, it will add the same value multiple times. Then we have add unique. Add unique will add it just once to the array. It doesn't matter how many times you call it. And you have remove, which will remove the object from the array if it exists. So, in order to add a property which, which is an array to my object, I'm going to call person dot add and I give it the property name so let's call it skills remember parse will laziness add the new property to our objects and let oops, skills and let's say I have the skill driving remember add adds this uh, the value to array it doesn't matter if it uh, is already added. So just out for testing, we will do it again and it will add the driving skill twice to the same array. So if I go to my console and type node index.js, it will run and then if I go back to my dashboard and reload the page, I have my new property called skills and I have driving twice because I would use it add to add it. So let's add a new uh, proper, a new value to that array but using the add unique method. So I come here and add unique and let's call it twice. It will enter the value just once in the array. So let's say I have the value for my skill as computing. So I'm adding it a unique and call it twice. If I go back to my console and run it and if I go back to my parse dashboard and reload it. So even though I call it, it twice, it added just once because uh, it will check for unicity. And then we can use the remove uh, method to remove the computing skill. So if I go there, and reload it here. The computing skill is gone. So, if I come back to my code and ask it to remove the driving skill, it will remove both because uh, it, it will remove any skills that matches the driving string. So if I come here and run it and reload it here and you have a empty array. It's possible on parse to unset an object. So let's say I want to unset my age. In order to do that, I have the unset method I use it like this, uh, person, oops, person dot unset and I put the 
property name I want to unset. So in this case, age. If I go to my console and run it, it will keep the, the property on the object, but it will be undefined. This is useful if you want to clear the data from a specific property. And last but not least, sometimes you wish to destroy an object. In order to do so, you use the person.destroy method. Destroy will delete the parcel object and there is no confirmation for that. So if you call destroy for an object, it will be deleted. So you have to use it with caution. Uh, I can remove this because I don't have to save or print anything since the object won't exist anymore. And if I run it and go back to my parse dashboard, as you can see, the Alex K object was destroyed. This is how you delete objects from parse. So this is all for this lesson. And on the next episode, we will be learning the basic for queries. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.